Good morning, you guys. So today we're gonna be working on this baby right here. Look at the brakes, still looking good. And the wheels we had painted and repaired. Oh, they're still pretty good, pretty decent shape. Okay, so today we're gonna be working on this seal for this pump. As you guys can see, quite a bit of oil under there. And it's coming pretty much from the pump right here where the pump is. As you can see, there's quite a bit of oil there. So we're gonna take the vacuum pump, uh, brake, um, brake boost vacuum pump, I think it's called, which is right there. It has two bolts on it and it has seals that uh, go bad. So we're gonna replace those seals on that pump. Just, if I just, I took the intake box off, if I can stick my hand, you see that? I just started it up. So it's leaking, it seems like, on the vacuum pump on the outer, um, outer this is a cover there's a vacuum pump and then there's a cover right there that goes on top of it there's a seal there and then there's also a seal right when it goes into the engine or into the head or whatever you want to call it but yeah and then there's also a seal on the on this attachment here sorry let me show you you see that black attachment right there uh, it inserts into the pump also and there's also a seal on it and all those seals go bad as you saw, I just ran the car literally for five minutes. It's been sitting overnight and you see fresh fluid on my on my hands. So yeah, and it's if you see oil on the on the T6 on top of your transmission, 90% chance that it's that pump. It's very easy to replace. I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to remove that. Uh, I think we're gonna have to remove this bracket uh remove it no actually we can just unbolt this bolt and just move it away so we can access uh, access to that bolt right there and then the second bolt we'll just remove the battery cover the top one and then the battery seat and everything we'll pretty much remove the battery and everything that the battery sits on so we can get access to the um assembly right there so it's very very simple but um i thought it would be a good video to do because i can see that uh, a lot of the higher mileage ones you know these leak because it's just a basic seal it's an o-ring pretty much so it's like you know they, they will go bad uh, easily go bad but it's a very simple fix you don't have to pay the dealership crazy amount of money to get it replaced you can do it at home um, very simple nothing complicated about it so uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video <music> told you guys this is the bolt one and then this is the hose that we're gonna take off and replace look at how much play they got and I'm pretty sure yeah that was leaking too from this from the cap I wouldn't be surprised if it was leaking from where where it was inserted into the engine because there's a seal here on the cap seal there and a seal behind it and then uh, we access this bolt right here so I had to remove uh, let me see where's the bracket where did I put the bracket it was just here oh i didn't put it anywhere it's on the wire it goes on top of here three bolts and then i just unloosen unloose, this one the last bolt on this bracket where the engine cover goes and yeah pretty simple depending on what car you have xc70 uh xc90 xc60 all of them will have different brackets here um so just yeah just remove the bracket that that you need access that you know that blocks your access to this bolt right here there's just two bolts this one and that one you remove them pull it out and it's out and then i'll show you guys how it looks when it's out and then this um right here to get this off you just squeeze right here if you can see there's like a, a not smooth surface i don't know what do you what do you call this markings where you squeeze it on both sides if you can't squeeze it with your hand Grab pliers, just don't squish it hard, don't break it, and then just take this uh, hose off. Okay, so once you get the two bolts off, you just kind of wiggle it and it comes out. You see that seal right there? I don't know 
whether it was leaking it doesn't look like it was leaking like nothing fresh right there but definitely from right here as you can see it's pretty nasty looking yeah and look at all that mess it made on the transmission everywhere Oof, that's nasty so yeah i'm gonna show you guys how to rebuild these so this kit i got from ipd which is right there if you guys want to screenshot it or whatever uh it comes with this the insert that i told you guys about it has a seal on it that the, the hose goes on it has the five screws that will be unscrewing to, to change the seal that was leaking right here and then it has this seal right here that goes here this is just the o-ring and this one looks like it's kind of like a square design uh for this right here so yeah that's what we're gonna do uh first i'm gonna swap this seal here and then i'm gonna take this out which is this nozzle right here i'm just gonna get like a flathead just get a flathead pride in there and then the one on this side and that should pop out pop this new one in there and then uh, after that we're gonna uh, open it up here and uh, put the new seal in and then these two blades right here they're supposed to line up with the marks on the cams right there so make sure if it does if you're trying to put it in it doesn't go in make sure you line these up right here i forgot to mention that and then yeah once they're lined up which i think mine should be now just slide in like that right there in and then just twist it make sure you know there's no wires or anything blocking it and then just twist it to the position of the bolt and that's it so it's in now we're gonna just tighten the bolts and that's it and put everything back together So I'm gonna spray the car with this hot shot right here, high power degreaser concentrate. And uh, I sprayed it everywhere on the transmission right here, as you can see, everywhere where the oil was, make sure you plug your intake tubes and you don't wanna get any water in there. And then spray it and I'm gonna pressure wash it, everything upstairs, up here, let it dry in the sun for a few hours and then assemble it afterwards and then drive it on the ramp to do the same thing underneath wash it and then yeah we'll be done so yeah i just wanted to make sure it's clean because i mean yeah it's not gonna be no leaks anymore here i don't want it to be all nasty so yeah we're gonna get it cleaned up and fixed properly now that i washed it we're gonna got some air so we're just gonna blow everything out that's it so that's gonna be i'm gonna let it dry now and then take these off and start assembling everything okay before i put it in i have the battery out might as well just get some battery cleaner clean it up because i saw some corrosion around the battery and then we're gonna do the battery sealer so we're just gonna spray it with a battery protector um, on top uh, after we put everything together so this is a good practice to do because your battery will start glitching and will probably mess with the with the car's electronics if it has bad connection or corroded connections or anything so you might want to clean the batteries uh, battery your battery terminals and everything make sure they're clean um you can see mine's getting a little corroded on this one so we're gonna clean the terminals also uh, the ground is fine but the positive is kind of dirty okay so i put the battery in i sprayed it with this uh, ignition and battery sealer so now now it's all ready so i'm gonna put this strap bar on bolt it back on put the covers on put the air box on and we're done okay so if you guys can see 
this is all clean and beautiful blew it out let it dry cleaned it all nice sprayed it with the greaser as you guys saw I showed you guys from underneath also I sprayed it all nicely with the degreaser and pressure washed everything so I'm gonna let it sit and dry now for a bit and we're done with this so this is the oil pump on your driver's side uh, or if you guys in Europe uh, your driver's side is gonna be there so left side of the vehicle if you're looking at it from the front on the right um, so yeah this is it you just buy an oil uh, I mean uh, what do you call it a vacuum um, vacuum pump uh, seal kit you type it in uh, IPD sells them uh, a bunch of other people should sell the whole kit there's three two seals and one little plastic adapter with the seal also so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video but very simple to do but very helpful I'm pretty sure it would save you guys uh, a lot of money especially something this simple you don't need to be you know experienced technician to be doing this it's very simple to do so yeah so that's gonna be it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed this video I wanted to make this video because uh, I try to make any common issues uh, or any issues that I come across with these cars that I think should be you know posted on YouTube that, that would pre probably save you guys money and help you out to do it yourself at home uh, I will make those videos this is one of them uh, especially as you know these cars get older they're gonna get higher mileage this this is gonna happen so if you see oil on top of your transmission most likely that's uh, that's your issue so uh, because other than that I mean there's no really oil leaks with from besides the cam seals which is highly unlikely to leak and then the timing chain uh, cover which is also highly unlikely to leak uh, but yeah uh, that's gonna be it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and also modifications on these vehicles and um, repairs and all that so yeah I'll be making those videos so if you guys like this video please you know give it a thumbs up and then subscribe they will help me out a lot so yeah um, Thank you guys for watching uh, and as usual, see you next time.